Hello Internet, Retro Kevin here. In today's video, I'm going to be comparing different types of cleaners to take care of dirty circuit boards. I have four junk boards with some baked on old flux that was just laying around. Each board will get cleaned with a different product. At the end, we will compare the results of each. So let's head over to the workbench and see what we're working with today. Here are my four circuit boards with the cleaning product to be used on them. Each product has its own unused toothbrush so we don't cross contaminate. This is just the dish soap I had on hand. Brand shouldn't matter. This is electronic contact cleaner spray. Generally, this is my go-to. 91% isopropyl alcohol. And someone recently suggested I try this. Denatured alcohol. Each board has had flux baked onto it with my heat gun. I tried to leave the heat on the flux until it was no longer a liquid, but rather dried up as much as possible. Now I didn't measure, but each board should have roughly the same amount of flux put on it. I did have some flux drip off the boards during the heating process, so yeah, there's that. I'll start the cleaning with the soapy water. And yes, this is perfectly okay to clean electronics with water. But be advised, you do need to discharge all the capacitors before doing so, and also dry the board as thoroughly as possible. And the main area I was cleaning looked great. I didn't clean the edges that well, but this isn't a tutorial on how to clean. Next, the contact cleaner. This stuff has a pretty strong chemical smell, so best to use in a well-ventilated area. Looks great. Now we'll move on to the isopropyl alcohol. This has been my go-to because it's fairly cheap and can be found pretty much anywhere. And finally, the denatured alcohol. I had never considered this one because I just always thought of it as an industrial cleaner. But after it was recommended to me, I researched it a bit, and it's not uncommon to be used in electronics cleaning. It looks really good. Never mind that plastic clip. It got a little burnt in the fluxing process. Now I'm going to let each board and the toothbrush soak in the cleaning product for a few hours to see if it will damage them at all, and allow the rest of the board to dry completely to see if there's any residues left over. I'll be honest, I'm mostly curious about the contact cleaner because it has that chemical smell, and the denatured alcohol, because it can remove paint and the like. It has now been a few hours. I checked on them every hour or so just to make sure that there wasn't any major reactions happening. Toothbrush is fine, dirty, but okay. Ooh, the board looks good. This toothbrush looks great. The part that was soaking has some flux residue on it. But that wipes right off. Otherwise, looks great. Again, toothbrush looks dirty, but okay. No damage to the board, and everything else looks good. Yeah, once again, toothbrush is dirty, but okay. And no damage to the board or plastic pieces.
I'm going to clean the rest of these brushes in the contact cleaner. And after I clean them here, I'll probably clean them off in the soapy water. Eh, just off camera. Just a quick look at each product to see how dirty they got. Aside from the contact cleaner, I could probably use these again for a different project. Out of all of these, I would have to say, hands down, that the contact cleaner did the best job. However, I would also recommend using it in a well-ventilated area. For the different products, here is a rough price markup. The prices can vary, but generally this is about what you'll pay for each of these. In the end, I would say all of these products cleaned the boards more than good enough. Soapy water would be by far the cheapest route to go, but also carries, I believe, the most potential to damage or ruin your electronics. The denatured alcohol seemed to do a little better job than the isopropyl, so that will probably be my new go-to when it comes to cleaning electronics. And the electrical contact cleaner being by far the best, but also the most expensive. So I will save that for harder jobs. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you really enjoyed it, please like, comment, and subscribe, as it will help out me and the channel quite a lot. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.